Hey everyone, I have a few new recent finds from garage sales and the flea market that I went to this weekend, so I figured I'd make another recent finds video. But first, I'd like to provide a little bit of an update on the channel. Uh, I recently changed the channel's name from my actual name to Slightly Livid Gaming because I figured it might be a little problematic to have my actual name attached to this channel is the title of it, so... Uh, I guess that's understandable, and I did it, like, a week into having the channel, so it wouldn't be too jarring as if I did it, like, a year in with, like, however many subscribers I'd have after a year. Anyway, let's get started with the, uh, recent finds. I'm gonna get started with a few things I got at the garage sales over the weekend, and a few things that I forgot to mention in the previous uh, entries in this little vlog. Um, I went to a retail game store and got a couple of Final Fantasy games. Crystal Chronicles on the GameCube, which I've heard some good things about, even though I haven't heard much about it, good or bad, and Final Fantasy X-2. Now, I'm not a fan of Final Fantasy X, it's just this cost four bucks, and I really want to get a complete Final Fantasy collection, and... It's kind of a doable thing. The only ones that I don't have that are expensive are uh, 2 and 3 on the Super Nintendo, 4 and 6. And I already have those on the PS1 compilations, uh, Chronicles and Anthology. But um, it, it would be easy to get copies of those. They're like 30 to 40 bucks loose, and that's very doable for me, at least compared to other expensive and rare games. Here are some things I got at a garage sales on Saturday. I got this at a church sale for a buck fifty. Predator on DVD, not bad. I mean, I, it's one of my favorite Arnold Schwarzenegger movies, so I'm a big Arnie fan. Um, a pair of old like pulp fiction novels. They're based on well, they're based on movies that are based on books. They re-released the books with the um, actors from the movie on them. It's The Third Man and Odd Man Out. I've never seen either of the movies. Uh, kind of want to, because I'm kind of into that film noir detective kind of thing. But, um, yeah, no, they... It's really cool to have these, like, in such good condition. Uh, because these are, like, at least 50, 60 years old, and they're... I'm kind of, I haven't taken them out of the case yet, or the plastic wrap yet, but, you know, hey, it's cool to have them in this condition. I might sell them on eBay at some point. Probably wouldn't get too much for them, but still. Cool to have. And now onto the flea market finds. Uh, I bought this F1 race at a uh, thrift store about a year ago, and it, it had everything in it, several of the booklets... Um, the uh, four-player adapter for the Game Boy, but it didn't have the cartridge, which was kind of a pain in the butt, but, you know, hey, I'm not going to pass up on that deal. And Sunday at the flea market, I bought the cartridge for a dollar. Not a bad deal. Um, it was... I played it briefly. It's not too interesting, but... You know, it, it's cool to have this complete in the box. Um, here are Genesis games. Desert Strike. Got this for two bucks. Eh, I don't really care about it at all. But, you know, for two bucks, I didn't pay much less than what it's worth. But it's a box Genesis game. I'm not going to turn that down if I can get it for that price. In another box Genesis game, Tom and Jerry Frantic Antics. I played it for about 15 minutes. It's really complete garbage, but it comes with the manual. It's it's one of those cardboard boxes. I only have one other one of these, and that's Rystar. And that's actually worth something. This is worth about maybe a little more than what I paid for it, and I paid five bucks. 
a uh, couple NES games. Star Tropics. I have been... I have had a copy of this for a long time, and it just didn't work. And now I have a working copy of Star Tropics, and it only cost me $7. Unfortunately, the asking price for it is actually a little less than that, but... You know, screw it, I have a working copy of Star Tropics. I'm happy. Super Sprint, which is a Tengen game. They're upside down, I always kind of get that mixed up. I I'm a fan of Tengen on the NES. They made Rolling Thunder, their version of Miss Pac-Man, I hear is pretty good. haven't actually played it. I played their Tetris game on an emulator, and it's really fun. I mean, I, I like Tengen. But um, this game... It's it's pretty good. It would probably work better with a joystick than a controller. You know, play it on an emulator. It's pretty fun. Or, you know, do what I did and pay two bucks at a flea market for it. And F-16... F-15 City War. It's, uh... It feels like, um... A ripoff of that Genesis game Thunderblade. Which was apparently around before that on the Master System and a few PC consoles. Not a bad thing. I mean, it's, it's an okay game. And it's by American Video Entertainment, who made Dudes with Attitude, which is one of the worst games I've ever played on the NES. And to see them making a competent game, even if it is a rip-off, kind of impressive. Or surprising, at least. And a couple... Uh, more recent games. Splinter Cell Double Agent on the GameCube. I've been interested in this for a while. Uh, I like the idea of playing a double agent um, embedded within a terrorist organization. You know, it, it's an interesting idea. I haven't gotten into the meat of the game yet, but then again, I've only had it for a day. It, it's a cool idea. I haven't gotten to where that idea is being acted out, but you know, again, it's, it's cool to have it. I've been wanting it ever since it came out, and now I have it. Also, I'm trying to beef up my GameCube collection. And from what I understand, this is also on the um, Xbox, PS2, PS3, Xbox 360, and Wii. Uh, from what I understand, I might be wrong about that, but it did come out at like the end of the GameCube, PS2, and Xbox lifespan in 2006, so it's possible. I don't think I've ever seen it on any of those. It might be, I might be wrong, but I checked it on Price Guide or PriceCharting.com. I might have just misread that, but Ring of oh, Romance of the Three Kingdoms Seven. I now have this complete uh, the PS2 era of this entire franchise all in the box. Well, of course, you're not going to get too many loose PS2 games, but yeah, it's. Uh, Rental place. Five day rental. Um, and Ring of Red, which appears to be a Valkyria Chronicles style strategy game. I might be wrong, it might be a bit more front mission style. Haven't played it. Can't play it. My PS2 won't read the disc for this or this. But it seems like my PS2 is having more trouble reading discs than my PS3 did, so it really could be that, you know, it, it could be the system and not the discs. The discs aren't in excellent condition, but they're not in the kind of condition that I would, like, be pissed off at someone for selling me for, so. It's like there's a few small sc scratches and scuffs here and there, but they, they look like they're going to, like they would work, so. And apparently the guy tested the games. I don't know. And this one, um, I'm actually a little excited about. Uh, Mobile Suit Gundam 0083, Stardust Memory on DVD. Um, I actually looked it up on Amazon. Because uh, I only got the first, uh, the second, third, and fourth volumes. And I paid three bucks for each, so nine dollars total. And the first volume goes for, I think, like $11, $12 on Amazon. Which is more than I paid for all three of the follow-up discs, which is a, a good deal. Um, I'm going to have to buy the first disc 
and it'll cost me more than I spent to get the rest of them. But you know, twenty bucks for you know an entire anime series that I believe is out of print. That's in a franchise that I really like. You know, it, it, that's not a bad deal. Um, even if it's not um, entering the franchise I'm particularly ecstatic about. I mean, I like it, I just don't go ape shit over how awesome it is. I also got a few vinyl records. Uh, Blue Oyster Cult, Agents of Fortune. It has Don't Fear the Reaper on it, This Ain't the Summer of Love. A few other songs. I mean, I, I haven't really listened to this one to any great extent. I like the Blue Oyster Cult, but I haven't listen to them as much as I would like to. But it's a uh, very interesting band. They kind of have like this sort of sci-fi horror element to their music, but they're they're one of the best rock bands ever, I think. Very underrated. Yeah. Uh, I wish this was Fire of Unknown Origin, because I like that album a little better, but it's good to have, and it's in excellent condition. Almost spotless. Tom Petty Damn the Torpedoes. I've always loved Tom Petty ever since I was a kid. I have this on CD somewhere, but having it on vinyl, really good deal, and this is such a great album. I mean, Refugee, Here Comes My Girl, Even the Losers. I mean, Louisiana Rain, one of the most underrated songs that I ever wrote. I mean, I love this album. Fantastic. And uh, Street Corner Talkin' by Savoy Brown. They're a blues rock band uh, from England, though they're like located in the U.S. now. I shouldn't say they. It's really more their guitarist who's the only constant member of the band. I like the album art. It's kind of this stylized sort of Mad Magazine type look to it. Uh... Yeah, um, pretty good stuff. So yeah, I, I had a pretty good haul uh, over this weekend, even though the first leg of the trip on Saturday was like a three-hour walk to only buy three dollars worth of stuff, but, you know, whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you for watching. Um, hope you enjoy the video. Like, subscribe, comment, whatever. Um, thanks.